she would eventually start running from us. She didn't even want to go to the bathroom, want to get near the bathroom. And she didn't, she just didn't want to go. And she would scream. Well, she did that worse in class. The mother of a four-year-old Boone Elementary student did not want to show her identity, but says those are changes she noticed since the beginning of the school year last September. It got to a point where she would hold it until she got home. This first-time mother says she wrote it off as typical toddler behavior. That's until February 7th came around. I sat her on the toilet and she had this look of hesitation on her face and she uh, she peed and then she just started screaming and um, mommy it hurts oh my god <gasps> and she just lifted up her pelvic off the toilet seat and just lifted her whole body off the toilet and I just she said mommy it hurts it hurts this mother was scared and took her child to the bed to figure out what was happening what I was looking at was just um, obvious signs of trauma that should not have been there they took her to the hospital and doctors determined the child was sexually assaulted this mother says Austin ISD tried to keep her quiet. After everything I've been told, like not to speak of it and we're not to talk about this, and it, I felt like they're kind of brushing it off as it's nothing. I'm making a big deal out of it and just kind of they want to shove it, push it under the rug. Now the district is looking at the case again, and the toddler's teacher is on administrative leave. I feel like I failed my daughter for sending her to a safe learning environment. And I feel like the school failed me, 100%. In Austin, Leslie Rangel, KXAN News.